So the first thing I wanted to do was sterilize the inside of my glove box. So I mixed up 20% uh, bleach solution, fastened the box down. I put some paper towels in the bottom to soak up all of the spray, make uh, cleaning up a little bit easier. And then tried to spray everything inside the box. One thing I learned that uh, would be helpful is to make a bigger glove box because this spray bottle took up almost the whole thing. It was really hard to work around. Once the jars in the box are sprayed, then you leave it for, then I left it for 10 minutes uh, for the bleach to do its job. Next, I opened up a brand new bottle of hydrogen peroxide that I would use to disinfect the seeds. I put the seeds into the syringe. Put the plunger back in the syringe. And slowly remove the air. I added the tiniest little bit of dish soap so that the surface tension would break and that the hydrogen peroxide would be able to surround the seeds and disinfect them better. The recommendation I got from the YouTube channel here but not uh, was that um, this process should take around 10 minutes. You don't want to go too much longer than 10 minutes because it will have a damaging effect on the seeds. And you don't want to go too much less than 10 minutes because it won't do the disinfection that you want it to do. Another tip that I got from that uh, channel was to compress the syringe and also expand the syringe so that you would change the pressure inside and allow the hydrogen peroxide to completely surround the seeds and disinfect them. After the 10 minutes of disinfection, then I opened up the glove box and put the syringe face down into the hydrogen peroxide and moved it into the box. And the next thing was just to take small drops of the seeds and add them into the prepared jars. It sounds easy, but it takes a little bit of patience. I'm not sure why I'm still wearing a mask. I guess it makes me feel like a little bit more like a surgeon. Once that was done, I tried to cap them as best I could inside the box and then opened the box up and once again sealed the tops with saran wrap.
and I'm pretty excited because this is how it looks after about six weeks. Stay tuned for part four.